Welcome back to my channel, Mathematics and really interesting challenge today, tricky challenge, 12 plus 24 divided by 2. This is challenge you've ever seen and what are the correct answers? Three option A, B and C. So choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer and write your option down into the comment section. We will check your answers here in just 30 seconds and I give me 97% 90, that you solve this question absolutely wrong because this is very, very tricky challenge. First of all, I want to start with this first interpretation. Just take a look closely at this first interpretation. So we have 12 plus 24 divided by 2, okay? And if you look close to our expression from left to right, 12 plus uh, 24 gives us 36, and 36 divided by 2 gives us gives us 18, okay? And we have this option, this is option option A, so a lot of students solve this question like that. But then I ask my students, okay, what about order of operation? Do you know about order of operation? How can you solve this correctly? Because this you solve this question right here, whatever you want, you just want to add it, you just do this, you divide right here, so you just solve this question absolutely randomly. And then I tell them, okay, let's look, for example, at this second interpretation, but in this second interpretation, I will solve this question according to, according to this PEMDAS order of operation, okay? Uh, this is our order of operation, this is our PEMDAS order of operation, right here. So uh, this PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. So the first step parenthesis, then exponent, then we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and subtraction group. So higher position, higher priority, lower position, lower priority. This is how it works, okay? So the first step parenthesis, then exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, okay? So right now let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge, okay? So we have addition, we have we have division, okay? Let's look at it. Addition, division, where do we have? We have division right here, and we have division addition right here. So obviously we don't have subtraction, we don't have multiplication, we don't have exponent, we don't have parentheses. So we have only division and addition, okay? And how does it work? Higher position, higher priority. And in this case, division E has the higher position, and this is not in this case. Generally, division is all the time before addition. So we should divide it first, or multiply maybe, or mm, so division multiplication group is all the time before addition and subtraction. So addition subtraction is our final step, so we can we should add or subtract at first, okay? So in this case division first, so we should divide 24 divided by 2, so we have 12 plus 24 divided by 2 gives us 12, which gives us very obviously addition, so 12 plus 12 gives us 24. And uh, we don't have this option right here, and then a lot of students confused, a lot of students arguing, but we don't have this option, and then one part of students go back to this 18. And I want to say that 18 is a very bad solution because you solve this question randomly, as I told before, addition and then division, this is a really bad mistake in terms of math, we should divide at first, then we should add at first. But with parentheses, this question is okay in first interpretation because we should add at first before division, because addition is inside parentheses, where, in, where parentheses is our first step, parentheses has the highest priority. So then parentheses first, 36, then divided by 2 is 18. Okay, with parentheses, this is okay solution. But in our case, we don't have parentheses, so forget about this option A. This is really bad solution in terms of mass. What about a correct solution? Then a lot of students say uh, that we don't have this 24, but then I mention, okay, let's look, for example, at this option C, 4 factorial, okay? 4 factorial, this is a product from 1, from 1 to 4, yeah, and if you multiply it, we have 6 times 4, we have 24. So for factorial, this is the same as 24, and 24 is a correct answer according to this PEMDAS order of operation. So a correct answer to this challenge is option Option C is a correct answer to this challenge. I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, a lot of really interesting challenges, different challenges every day. So I hope you enjoy this video. Also, don't feel bad if you got this wrong. And thank you for your time. See you in the next videos and have a great day.